Edward Cruz was a photographer who worked in the late 19th century and the early 20th century. Um, his, you know, epic work, which was the North American Indians Project, um, spanned a 30-year period of time and is composed of 20 volumes of photogravures with um, associated uh, text volumes. Um, which have a lot of ethnographic information in them that relate to the photographs. What you have represented in the portfolio is less than 1% of his artistic output. In terms of the work that was published, we do have the full set, and it is um, uh, printed on this India tissue paper, which is one of the more delicate and nuanced photogravures um, mm -hmm. uh, paper material that was used. And the main goal of his project was to document what he considered the vanishing race of the Native American population. And so that's why within this series there's different volumes for different tribal communities and he went all over the United States um, to document that work. It, I think, um, reflects shifting perspectives on Native Americans during that period too. A lot of radical things happen during that span of time. So you start with assimilation and, and the still notion of the vanishing race, I think, echoes a lot of those notions of assimilation and almost manifest destiny. Um, as his work evolves, you get a lot more detailed information. You also start to see a shift again in that photographic practice from pictorialism to modernism, where you have much more geometric lines and texture and shape, but a lot more information, I think, in there as well. The ones that I find most interesting or that I like to um, really pull out are the ones um, more authentic setting for tribal community. It's not just significance for its historical purposes for that time, but also how do we change the narrative of that collection and how how are artists today, particularly Native artists, um, using Curtis Curtis's work or being influenced by Curtis or um, restructuring kind of what he was trying to do.